Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing good. Um, so I'm just outside enjoying some fresh air. I hope that you guys are also enjoying some free time. Um, maybe took a jog this morning because I definitely enjoyed having a jog this morning. Um, so after this, we're going to do a bit of a message. Um, just an encouragement during the lockdown. Um, we just wanted you guys to continue being in prayer and stuff like that. And after the message, I want to invite you guys to just pray together or pray wherever you are. And then I'm going to show you guys a video of what me and the leaders got up to this week. And we invite you guys to play with us. Um, yeah, have a good day. Cheers. Hey guys, I hope that you're all great, doing well. Um, I'm just going to do a little message with you guys this evening. Just to encourage you guys to just like stay steadfast and keep going. I know that some of you have some school work and some varsity work or college work that started up recently. Um, so just to encourage you and just um, basically keep the faith during this time. I know things are challenging and it's really difficult um, to just cope and be normal in a sense now. I'm just going to say a little prayer then share a message with you guys um, if that's okay. God of might and God of glory, thank you for who you are. Thank you for all that you bestow upon us, your Lord, for all the blessings you gave us, your Lord. I know that in this time, it's really difficult for us as individuals to basically um, cope and survive, not being able to see loved ones or interact with loved ones personally or physically the Lord not even able to properly take a walk outside without um, fear and anxiety in this time the Lord we just give it to you give everything we are to you the Lord and we pray that we can honestly turn to you and you will just bless us abundantly the Lord bless our friends our families and bless us during this time the Lord as we go through your scripture Reveal to us your um, word through your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So the scripture that I chose um, this evening was not actually my intended scripture. I was intended to do a different scripture and then ended up doing this one instead. So this scripture is from Matthew 13 verse 44 to 46. Um, I'm reading from the ESV. The kingdom of heaven is like a hidden treasure in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy he goes and sells all, his, all he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who on finding one pearl of great value, went and sold all he had and bought it. So basically what the scripture says is there was a guy that was in the field and he stumbled across this treasure, right? And because this treasure was in the certain field in this land, he sold everything he had in order to acquire that field, that land, so that he could own that treasure. And the second story is about a guy who is a merchant so basically he sorts all sorts of pearls and goes through them and he finds this pearl that is so so valuable that he was willing to sell everything he had to buy it so jesus in this passage of scripture is talking about the kingdom of heaven and in a lot of parables he actually speaks about the kingdom of heaven you'll find actually in matthew 13 um, quite a few parables as well but the message that they are giving um, or Jesus is giving in this sense is that the kingdom of heaven is of great value it really costs a lot um, for myself in terms of this value and finding um, this treasure I also had to give something up Many of you um, who are watching this, my many of you watching this might know my story or might not know my story, but to be honest, it's a difficult journey if you 
Many of you might know or may not know the story of how I became um, a youth pastor and doing what I'm doing right now. It was basically a story of great treasure. When I discovered my, um, when, come on Ryan, many of you may or may not know my story, but my story was like one of these people. Um, I discovered this treasure and I really, really, really didn't just want to say, hey, that's a cool treasure and be out of it. I actually, um, found my first engagement with Jesus was so amazing, so exciting. And honestly, I couldn't just stop there. I journeyed through life, not knowing what to do, knowing that I found this treasure to the point where I gave my life to Jesus and I said this treasure, this thing that I found, this truth that I found is worth so much. And I decided not just to keep it to myself, but give up everything so that people around me could share in that knowledge and that truth. And I live my life trying to strive or striving to have other people also um, discover this truth or discover this treasure so whether you stumbled across it where by chance like the guy in the field where he found this so whether you found it by jesus or the kingdom of heaven or who god is by chance by hearing it by somebody or from someone or seeing a church service or hearing a song just by chance great even if you are like this merchant, you've been searching for something with true meaning, something with real value, and you finally found it. That's also great. The kingdom of heaven is very diverse. It comes across to different people in different ways. But if you find that treasure, what do you do? What are you willing to give up? And I'm not talking about giving up that Netflix account <laughs> or giving up... Um, like meaning, meaningless stuff at the end of the day. Actually, what is treasure to you? What do you value in your life? And if there is something that of, is of great value, what would you give up for it? Therefore, so much so, if you really discover this true meaning of what it means to be in a relationship with God, what are you willing to give up for? So, I really want to challenge you to step out just take the time to reflect i know that we've um, reopened with schooling stuff and all that stuff but i honestly think there is five minutes in your day just pause that movie or that series or that video um, because we tend to watch movies for like an hour and a half and i'm guilty of it i love movies and series but we need to Take some time to pause and reflect. So I'm asking you to just take some time to pause, to pray, and to ask God what all of this means. Whatever you're going through, wherever you might find yourself, what does it mean? And then I want you to listen. It might not be easy to hear because there's so many things happening in your head, so many voices around you so many noises but i want you to truly focus and take time to listen to hear what god is placing on your heart and then after that i want you to share and i'm not saying that you should share on a platform or anything um but maybe just a family member or if you want to reach out to somebody what god is telling you about yourself and where you are at the moment because i can tell you this god loves you and he values you so what is the value you place on this relationship and what are you willing to give up for it i pray that um this message just speaks to you in one way or another and i hope that you are blessed by it i pray that the journey forward and whatever you might be going through or thus reintroducing yourself to life and society i pray that it is fruitful 
and that is meaningful. Cheers. Okay guys, we are gonna play Scribbler now on the PC. Here we are, we're gonna play Scribbler, <laughs> Scribbler like now um, on the PC, so it's recording. Sure, okay, Here we go. Um, I'm opening up the thingy now. Oops, wrong thingy. Yeah boy, Ash left. He's joined again, that's fine. Here we go. Okay, so okay. in the where to type guess there, that's where you type your thing. Explain what is this? What must I do? Um, there's a box in the right. Type. <laughs> where it says type what guess like there. What you, you click there and type. Oh. Oh. I don't have time. So I don't understand. Click on the box with this type guess <laughs> and then type it on. Let me use click in the oh. skin type. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm voting. How come I vote for Lego? Because you got it last. The fastest person gets oh. the most points. Okay. What? <laughs> All these words are epic. You. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, it was that. I thought it was it. I nearly had it. It was so close. I thought it was either that or continent. I was like, yeah, I that's the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> no, it's hey, right. no, it's the right way. It just oh, looks like a shrub. Geography. I'm gonna write a word. Geography. You can't write. No. You can't write, you egg. <laughs> you are such a devil now. <laughs> what? I'm confused. What? <laughs> um, this is terrible. Um, no. How do I draw this? Oh, that's that's so much easier to draw though. That is so what much easier to just draw though. Oh my word. What? Uh, just draw the thing. <laughs> no. Is it finished? It no, no, it's not finished. Everyone gets it finished. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. Just draw um, the actual thing. I can't. You can How did you guess it? Aiden, how do you know what the words are? Good owner. <laughs> Oh, oh no, no it's bad. Like oh my word, <laughs> that's a bad. <laughs> Why didn't you just draw a bat? <laughs> yeah, I not Oh, no. <laughs> any bat, like a cricket bat, uh, or fish stick, anything, bro. Okay, this drawing is terrible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> it can make <laughs> It can make it doesn't it's not separate Y'all suck at geography eh show sure it Yeah we don't do this stuff guys I didn't I did accounting <laughs> What does this mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> that was Ash's guess Africa It's not Africa That was Ash's guess Continent Continent Africa is a continent <laughs> <laughs> 